if you want to use the HMI visualization, uh, we first have to create a HMI page. So uh, we have to do that here on the left side in the plan section under uh, yeah, the, the project folder, HMI web server and right click on application. Select add HMI page and give it a name. Let's say test page for now. And in case you got more than one uh, HMI page, uh, you will see that there's an error that occurs uh, in case you have not selected a starting page. Um, and you can do that by clicking on uh, your desired page with a right click and set this one as a HMI startup page. And uh, yeah, after that, the error will disappear. So let's open our test page with a double click and you will see that you have uh, different settings that you can work on for your page, like the resolution or the background color. You can also use dynamics, create tags and parameters. And yeah, for now it's, uh, it's empty. It's just a blank page. You can see here. And how do we design our HMI page now? Uh, for that, we have uh, yeah, different options that we can uh, use here in the component list, like objects, uh, symbols, or images. So let's start with the, with the objects. You have uh, 12 different uh, standard objects that you can use. And um, yeah, you can reuse them all the time. So you can, for example, let's say a button. Uh, you can just uh, drag and drop it onto your page and it will create an instance of that button. When we go um, in the settings, you have um, yeah, different settings uh, for the behavior, uh, the tags, uh, the text, uh, the geometry, the background color and so on. But you also have dynamics that you can use um, so let's say, uh, yeah, we want to create a new, a new dynamic, um, click on action. So every time you click, uh, an action is uh, activated. So the action in this case could be, let's say, right value. And uh, now we have to, uh, yeah, select a variable, uh, that is going to be written with a value and yeah, for now we have not created any. So how do we do that? Uh, we have two options now, uh, how to create, um, variables. We can, um, either do that in the global variable list. Uh, we go into PLC uh, and then data list. And here we can create global, global variables. Um, let's say here we can call it var global enter um, and it creates a global variable. Uh, if you want to use it in the HMI application now, we have to use HMI tags. And for that, we go into uh, the HMI tag column, right click and add HMI tag and it will create its own global variable HMI tag. We can go back into our test page and here we go. We have our global variable that we can select now, but we can also use uh, local variables, uh, for example, in a program. So let's go into our variable list of the program, uh, enter a variable or a name of the variable of the desired variable here. Uh, let's say var local. And important for now is that you activate the uh, HMI usage. Go back in our uh, yeah, test page and here we can select test program. Um, that's the, the program we can in this program, we can select our variable by adding a dot and select var local. So that's it. You've created a button in your HMI page. In case you want to use your objects multiple times with the same design, 
um, you could just go ahead and copy and paste your design button or object in general and yeah paste them on a different page or on the same page even the better solution to that would be to use HMI symbols and you can create them by right clicking on symbols and add HMI symbol uh, which I've done already so I want to go into my symbol and here I can use uh, all of the 12 standard objects as well as other symbols that I've created before yeah what I could do now is let's say uh, I want to use a button as well. I could just drag and drop them in there. And what I've forgotten to mention earlier, you can also uh, yeah, click on button and uh, create them in the desired size right away. So uh, yeah, here we, we have our button now. Uh, we have the settings uh, and also the dynamics that we can use. Uh, just like uh, like I showed you earlier. So let's say we want to create a action dynamic, action on click, just the same, uh, right value, and then we uh, yeah we have to select our destination variable again. But now you see that there is no destination variable, and uh, it's because we have to create parameters first that are only uh, available in the HMI symbol. So here we can create a test parameter symbol variable bool and now we can go into our code sheet again, select the button, go into dynamics and here we can uh, yeah, select the parameter symbol now. Yeah, now we created our HMI symbol and we have to uh, instantiate it on our test page. So we go back to our test page, select our HMI symbol and simply drag and drop it onto our test page. You double click on the button and here you have the parameters. So here you see we have the test parameter uh, symbol parameter. And um, yeah, now we can connect this parameter of the symbol with our desired uh, source value. So here we can select uh, either the uh, global, vari uh, global variable that we created earlier or one of our local variables of the programs. So here's the test program dot var local and we've created our symbol. We can also use images um, here's the Phoenix contact logo, for example, that we can just add by right with a right click. Uh, we can also just uh, pull it into our uh, HMI application page. And we can also work on that too. Double click on it. You can uh, yeah, work on different, uh, different settings and also um, yeah, add dynamics uh, to our logo or image in general.